Welcome back to another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic CQB tactics and infantry doctrine to play this game, Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. If you don't yet own this game and you like what you see in this video, you can get this game off of my game store. It's a great deal, and it'll support the channel directly if you choose to do that. That's www.nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. There's a link in the description below. Today we're looking at Another Extreme Rescues mission. This one is called Our Man in Accounting. It's the first VIP extract mission that I have actually done in this game, believe it or not. And uh, and so the mission is to get our four assaulters here into this compound, somehow make contact with this VIP. And then looking up top, it looks like once we make contact with this VIP, we'll be able to take control of him and then get him out. We don't need to kill everybody. We don't need to clear this whole thing. We just need to get our guy out of this bad situation. To achieve this, I've got four assaulters. I've chosen to go with the MP5 SD6 for each of them, so we're firing subsonic 9mm. The goal is to try and stay quiet. Um, and uh, I've got a good mix of flashbangs and frag grenades, uh, as well as wall charges, door charges, and uh, and smoke to, to help us get all of this accomplished. Uh, I'm going to go through here really quick and make sure I've got some hollow point ammunition and EOTech optics on each one of these MP5s just to improve my accuracy, improve the overall effectiveness and responsiveness of the platform. And then if we consider our mission, which is just to get in, get this guy out safely and depart rapidly, um, I've, uh, I, I don't want to overcommit. I don't want to find myself clearing all of this. I don't want to find myself clearing all of this. So I, I, my strategy going in really is to maintain security on this breach, this breach, and this corner. And then I think it's a gamble, but because I know exactly where this VIP is, I think I'm gonna go explosive right here and just have my VIP come running out this way. Um, because this is in the Extreme Rescues campaign, um, there's gonna be a twist or a turn that I'm not ready for, but that's my plan going in. I'm gonna go ahead and run through that plan now. I'm gonna talk through while I do it, like I always do. If you wanna see the replay, it's located at the end of the video where you can see it go down silky smooth. Hopefully, here we go. All right, first things first, um, we are going to get this gate open. I don't know, is there a way to, yeah, let's go ahead and lock pick this thing and then we're gonna maintain security while we do it. Cool, everyone's still quiet right now. Getting that lock picked, we've got good security. All right, now the question is like, what's our method of breach? Now that I've got this sheet metal gate open, do I have confidence that we're gonna be able to go quiet um, and get in? I, and I really don't know, I really don't. Um, I don't wanna throw a flashbang deep back here because if there are other enemies in these rooms, that would trigger their response and I don't want that to happen. Um, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is, uh, is go in quiet I'll potentially end up having to engage people here or here. Hopefully not so much that it causes us to be compromised. Uh, the goal here will be to go quiet. Um, but I am going to plan this as a dynamic entry, which is a, a gamble, but it's important because um, this is a, uh, it's a, a VIP extract. It's essentially a hostage rescue. So we're going to treat it that way. Um, I'm not going to tell my guys that they need to be quiet anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lead here. Number one man will clear this left corner, push deep. He's going to open the door instead of bash it. Number two man will go opposite, and he'll push forward, stop shy of this threshold so he doesn't overcommit. Again, I'm going to tell him um, to, uh, to do that same sort of thing. Number three man, he's going to hold short. And this is all going to change very, very rapidly as we press through here. And all these guys, just because I don't know who for sure is going to get there get to the door first I'm telling everyone to go quiet um, so if we think this is our number one man the first thing I want him to do is gonna be to check deep as soon as he clears his corner or as soon as he clears deep and his muzzle breaks this threshold I want him clearing his corner and then I want him committed deep again and really he's gonna be the guy that's gonna be able to put good effects on this door and potentially this door uh, number two man he's gonna do the same thing opposite side he's also gonna take a peek deep quickly transition to the corner and then also Start holding deep. Biggest risk to him, he's gonna bypass this curtain. So I'm really, really hoping 
um, that we're going to not face issues from this corner. He's also going to be counting on his buddy here to engage any of these threats. Number three, man. I want him looking deep and staying deep the whole time. And I'm going to keep him focused on this door and our number four, man. He's going to be deep. He's going to stay this corner the whole time. All right, moment of truth. Um, I guess this being extreme rescues, I don't know that we're going to be able to get in here as quietly as we want. There could also very well be suicide bombers in here um, or an executioner that wants to kill our VIP. Um, so that's all a challenge that we're going to have to deal with. But here we go. Let's see how this plan plays out for us. Still quiet. Still quiet. We may have been compromised. I did hear the they're here kind of audible signature. Um, so how are we going to play this? We're going to go ahead and bypass this. This guy's going to hold this corner the whole time. We're going to go ahead and give him a two-man, I think, like this. That two-man is going to hold this door for him. We're going to maintain one on this door and one on this door. Okay, there's my wall charge. We're going to go ahead and set that wall charge in right there. While we do that, I'm going to give him a buddy on this door. And I'm going to have one of his buddies push long to this corner. Just like that. And this buddy will go ahead and check into this piece of cover. Maintain security on this door. Okay, now is the challenging part. We got to plan this dynamic entry. I think what we'll do is uh, we will put a bang around this corner. I'm going to tie that to the alpha go code. I'm also going to put a bang into this room. I'm going to tie that to the alpha go code. I'm going to tie the detonation of this device to the alpha go code. I'm going to maintain rear security with this guy the whole time. Yep, he'll be able to hold that rear security there. Um, it'll be a two man dynamic entry into this room. If this guy is, he's going to wait till Bravo to enter. This dude will end up coming in. We're kind of hoping it looks like that this piece of furniture is going to get destroyed in the process. As soon as our boy comes in, he's going to maintain deep. As soon as he breaks the corner, he's going to transition to the door because he will have already been able to clear his point of domination once he comes in. Uh, this man being our two man will end up coming in and doing that button hook. Um, so the first thing he's going to do is get through, clear this corner, and then he'll also collapse there. This is going to end up being a, a pretty violent one. Um, let's see how we do. First thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and blow this charge and see what the effects are. Go. I do have one enemy right here. Looks like I've also turned one into Jello, and he's getting blasted back. We've got a good entry here. All right, we've got that other enemy in that area has been destroyed. I'm going to go ahead and choke up right in front of our VIP, so he is safe and sound. VIP is still stunned. I got an open breach here. Now it's time that we're loud. We gotta be real careful about getting the hell out of here. VIP, go ahead and move there, buddy. That's a challenge. Bravo, go. Frags are out. I'm just prepping these rooms, giving us a lot of room to work with. Okay, our buddy's going to go ahead and push there. We've still got good security deep, it looks like. Let's get one more frag back in here so it doesn't kill our VIP when we try to move past. 
Get the hell. That was close. Alright, boys. Let's go earn some money, huh? Good security guys, 360 is real tough right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get ballsy with this one. All right, that room is clear and secure. Move at a run, my friend. There we go. Let's go, man. What a run. That was fucking badass. I love this round. Let's go ahead and just jump straight to the replay. Let's do it. This one was clean. I'm going to let it run straight through. I'll talk a little bit, but you guys saw how that went down. I'm really proud of this mission. That was pretty freaking badass, and I actually like the design a lot of these um, hostage rescue style mechanics with the VIP, so that was pretty cool. Um, let's see how we did here. Security sweeps, pick the lock, playing that dynamic entry early. Get that nice stack. Enter. They're here. Monitoring those thresholds as we cross them. Man, I love it. Security. Security was the name of the game on this one. Alpha, go. Thank you. Bravo. Go. Look at that, look at that, let's go. Mm. Impenetrable, absolutely impenetrable. Setting conditions to get him out, and then making a sprint for the x -Fill. That's how it's done, really happy with that mission. One minute exactly, three stars. If you enjoyed this game, remember you can get a copy of it from my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. Big shout out to all the channel members, especially the premium and the executive channel members on the screen. You guys keep me motivated to do this. I am Controlled Pairs, and I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. This is Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, and I'll see you in the next one.